What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jody Motherfucking Keith back with another story time. And uh, this story, you know, I previously talked about karma and, you know, the cosmic dispatcher and, you know, like living your life right and doing the right thing. Well, you know, you don't always do the right thing, and everybody was young once. And so I figured I'd tell a story about how I paid in the negative side of karma. Now, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of the book, it's called uh, Harry Potter. But uh, basically, you know, I kind of quit reading Harry Potter at uh, Goblet of Fire because I was really big into Quidditch. So whenever I uh, they were announced that they were doing like the Champion Cup or whatever the hell and and they weren't gonna do any Quidditch this book, oh, I was like, yeah. you know what? I'm out, I'm out, no Quidditch, see ya, I'm done. I read that line and I'm like, that's it, no Quidditch, for real? I read another chapter to make sure they were serious. They were serious, I was done. So, uh, so I quit reading the Harry Potters and then uh, I was in college and I remember I was, uh, they were releasing the book, okay? And so my boy was like, hey man, come on, let's take a ride. And I was like, where are we going? He's like, it's, it's midnight, where are we going? He's like, man, we're going to the bookstore. And I'm like, man, you don't read? Like, <laughs> where are we going to the bookstore? He's like, dude, the new Harry Potter's coming out. I said, you don't read Harry Potter, bro. And he's like, yeah, come on, man, let's go. And I'm like, uh, all right, bro, all right, bro, let's go. Come on, you my dog, I'll give you a ride. So we ride over there, we're rolling up on a Harry Potter crowd and they got the line out the door and people were getting ready for the midnight release of the Harry Potter book or whatever the deal was and so I was like and we rolled up he's, and he rolled down the window and he yelled out the car he was like Snape kills Dumbledore Snape kills Dumbledore and I was like oh my god bro this is really happening so I peeled off we drove off and I was like dude what the fuck dude you just spoiled that shit on him and does Snape really kill Dumbledore and he's like yeah bro and I was like how the fuck do you know that do you don't read and he's like yeah, well, you know, I read the spoilers, you know? I was like, dude, you're a fucking asshole, bro. I can't believe I was a party to that, dude. But then I felt bad. But then at the same point in time, I was there. I was there for it, you know? Fuck, we did it, you know? Fuck it, dude. You know? So, you know, paid into bed into karma. And uh, I've definitely gotten spoiled in return. Karma always comes back. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything for Game of Thrones on you. But just say that there was this really, really, really big event in the show. And, uh... Basically, I used to drive the cab, and uh, you know, I had this dancer who read all of the Game of Thrones books. And so, just imagine that we're sitting over here. It was really hard driving a cab and watching Game of Thrones because, like, in season two, you know, this guy spoiled some shit that didn't come out till season six, which wasn't a big, big deal. It was something that happened beyond the wall uh, with one of the Starks. And then, so uh, later on. Uh, like four seasons later, you know, I was waiting for that to happen. So I already knew that was going to happen. And then this chick was like, uh, it was Halloween. So it was off season for Game of Thrones. And uh, I picked her up. Uh, I brought her to the place to get a costume. She's at the costume place. So she comes out. I'm Googling costumes because I'm trying to like figure out what the hell costume I'm going to be. And they were like the top 10 most uh, obnoxious costumes for Halloween. Number one was like Ebola because it was during the Ebola thing that never really happened. I was kind of hoping we could fucking everybody would get Ebola and you know we'd fucking you know get that that apocalyptic fucking deal. But uh, that didn't happen. So you know I guess we lucked out, but I kind of missed out on a good story. But we definitely uh, the number two one was don't be a spoiler alert. And I was like, what do you mean don't be a spoiler? Alert? And they said don't wear a costume oh, this is what some people yeah. do they'll wear a costume that reveals something from you know i don't know john snow and then like wear a sign over your your chest and it'll, it'll say spoiler oh, alert and when you yeah. move it, it it'll, it'll expose something you know what i'm saying so uh and so anyway so i was like what do you mean and she was like i was like you ever thought about being a spoiler alert? just joking you know and she was like oh no, we, what does that mean? And I explained it to her. I said, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, you, you be a costume, you wear the sign, spoiler alert, when you move it, it spoils the shit. And she's like, oh, so like, you could be like Jon Snow, and this and that. And I was like, hold up now. I know the fuck you didn't just say what I think you just said. And she was like, oh, you didn't read the books? And I was like, no, I don't fucking know how to read. What are you talking about? She's like, you didn't read the books? And I was like, no. She's like, no, I'm quick, I'm sorry, nothing. And I was like, God damn it, woman, I want to get the fuck out of my cab right now. I don't want to talk to you. 
Like, are you kidding me right now? You're hitting me with that right now? I've been sitting on this one spoiler for four years, and I just got off the spoiler, and then now you're going to hit me with that, which ain't going to happen until next season, if I'm lucky, probably at the end of the season. And, and she's like, oh, well, that's what you get for spoiling them Harry Potter books, which I told her about it before. She's like, that's what you get for spoiling the Harry Potter book. And I'm like, you're right. That's what I fucking get. So you got to pay into it because it always comes back, you know. And fucking, I mean, don't be worried. If you got some bad karma, just try and make up for it with some good shit. But, uh, you know, don't spoil shit, man. Shit's been out for fucking seven years. I feel bad about dropping the Harry Potter spoiler right now on this video. I'm going to make sure to put spoiler alert. But if you like the story, please like, comment, subscribe. You know, hide your kids, hide your wife, tell your friends. Another story time, man. We'll catch out one love, good vibes. Oh